Hi Stampin' Friends, this is Deb Crowley from Deb Staubers in Urbandale, Iowa. Happy to be with you this Saturday as we look at projects we can do for Christmas that may be other than just cards. We have a lot of opportunities to use our Stampin' Up! products for ornaments and gift decor and things like that. So today I'm going to share a couple of projects with you and the first we're going to do are gift tags. So I'll put this camera down and start in. I'm going to be using two sets for our gift tags today. The first is the uh, Tailor Made Tags. This is a set of, of tags, bookmark tags that has two different edges on the front. They also come with some little dies that cut out tabs to go around the circles and the oval in order to give them strength and I'll show you that a little later. And they work perfectly with these giving gift dies and the ones I'm using today are the, um, the snowflake die, the reindeer die, and the little ornament die. They work really well with these, these tag dies. The others are ornamentation, and it looks like this, there's a little pumpkin one here for fall. And then there's a little bitty ivy that's so tiny. I'll show you how that cuts out. It's just, it's just beautiful, so tiny and delicate. So let's get started. The first thing you want to do is to have your little and cutting embossing machine right at your desk. I, I love this little machine. It's so handy to cut out little things that don't have to get up and move over to my big machine to do. So the first thing you want to do is take some paper, figure out your your tag size, this is about, let's see, it's about, about 3.75 by 2, 2 inches for the large tag. And the little ones are a little smaller than that. This is a great way to use up some of your extra little pieces of cardstock. I'm going to turn this around so you can see what I'm doing. So the first thing I'm going to do is to put in, and do this two in one so you don't have to make two cuts. Put your tag on your piece and add your die. Fits in there quite nicely. the sheet down and run her through. I'm doing this backwards. And there you have a beautifully cut out snowflake for your tag. I need my, the roller brush will help get some of these little pieces out or my picky tool. So come right out because it's a nice clean clean cut with the embosser machine. So let me show you some of the ones that I've already cut out to give you some idea. You also want to take your um, your base tag and make a, a solid tag. It can be out of DSP or it can or designer series paper or, or cardstock, whichever you're going to need for a background. So let me give you some, show you some samples of ones that I've done. So here is some of the night, the peaceful cabin paper that I had left. And I'm going to use that with the, um, with the reindeer. Gives them a little a little cool background as reindeer. And you can glue it on or this one I didn't quite have large enough for the tab so I will I will glue that on um, and add a, a, a tag piece for the ribbon. But it just makes a really nice background for everything. I'll show you some other ones here that I've got done already. This little one, look at how cool that is with that paper. Gives you opportunity, well, you can write on the back or you can just add it to your tag there. 
add a little piece of ribbon or a little piece of um, cord and, and have it ready to go. Isn't that pretty? So there's a couple. How about I liked I liked this one too. Actually I liked it with this better. Isn't that pretty with the with the snow? And here's the reindeer with a little of the little green trees behind it. Got that kind of sideways there, but here's another green one. Looks pretty. And you can use these for your cards as well. You can put this on your on on a card as a as a de decoration on the card front and add words and decorate around it. And then they have a little tag they can take off if they want or it looks pretty just being on on the thing. So you can just be really creative. It's a great way to use up a lot of the little leftover pieces. I don't know if I showed you this one, but I think that's one of my favorites. I think I showed you this one with the stripey DSP. The other little one like this in the set is, is pumpkins. So I didn't do any of those because we're kind of out of the pumpkin season, but look how cool that looks. The little stripey paper left over. And here's one out of green. The reindeer. Then you can take and cut out from the tags. They've got these little dies that cut out the tabs that I talked about earlier. I cut them out uh, using the adhesive, the double sticky adhesive on the back. I just put my paper on it and then cut them out so that when I go to put them on the tags, all I have to do is, is lift them off. So this one is round and, and the other one is a little bit oval. So I've got my little round guy here and I can pick it up off of that. Tape it on there. And then you've got some reinforcement on your tag. Pretty cool. You can use these year round. You can make tags for anything, for any time of the year, for birthdays, for gifts, for, um, for whatever. They'd even make pretty Christmas ornaments hanging on the tree. And you don't necessarily have to use the, the um, giving gifts dies. You can use other dies that might be in your set. Look at something like um, the leftover trees from the cabin, peaceful cabin set, and how pretty those might look on your, your background. See if I can find one I like here. Cut out some of those and glue those on. The end is endless. You can let your imagination run wild. Something like that, or even a, even a single tree. So look through your dies, look through what you have, cut out pieces and, and be creative putting them together to make tags that are quick and easy and will just add a little delight to your packages. I don't know if I showed you that one, but then put a ribbon through there and, and you're good to go. And this set has all kinds of, um, it's got some autumn leaves for autumn. And like I said, the pumpkin, it's got other embellishments there that you cut out. I wanted to show you this itty bitty little die. That's a, that's a, like a holly die. Let's see if I can get that up close so you can see it. It's so delicate and beautiful. It's got, it's embossed and it's got little slits in the in the center of the leaf so that it looks like um, it looks real. And you can add that onto your tags if you want to, or cards, just 
tape it on, add a, add a little pizzazz to whatever you're working on. Okay, the next thing I want to show you is how to use up some of those strips of paper that we all seem to collect. And this project is going to use half inch, half inch strips. I'm using half inch strips by six inches. So the six inch square uh, designer series paper is great for this or use, use scraps like I said. And it's a very easy project to do. I'm gonna show you um, how to do it. Let's see, got one, two, three. Okay, the first thing you want to do, you're gonna use six strips all together. Not a whole lot, just six strips. I'm going to fold one in half, like this, and fold another one in half, like this. But I think I want my dots to go on the outside, so we'll do it this way. And you need glue. It doesn't take a lot of glue, so if you're a messy gluer, just go light on the glue. I'm using my graph can use graph paper, but I've got a graph board down here. Old, old Stampin' Up! product I found at the sale. I really like it. It's glass. Just to kind of make sure you're in line. So the first thing you want to do is make a T. Real easy. Hold it together. Then we're going to do like we did in elementary school, and we're going to do some weaving. So this one's over. So we're going to do one on the side under. Put a little glue in the center. Kind of measure it up there, try to get the ends even, and then just a little slit in between. It doesn't doesn't exactly, there's no specific measurements for that, just so that it's kind of even all the way down. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So we have three. Three under. Well, three strips. One over, two under. About the same length. Press that down. It's the nice thing about the Tombow glue, it dries pretty quickly. Then we can turn it over and we're going to add our other two strips in. Now this um, looks like I got one strip a little bit wider than the other, so I'm going to trim it down a little bit. So we've got over, this one's going to go underneath, I don't know if you can see this, but it's just weaving, basic weaving. Get it down under there, we take a little glue, a little spot of glue. Spot of glue on the other side. Glue gives you a little wiggle room, which is nice because you can kind of make it a little more even. It doesn't have to be perfect. You're going to make two of these, so you've got one done. I'm going to show you how to uh, finish it off, but it's just like a, a woven strip, six strips together. The next part is really easy. You've got four corners, right? So you're going to take two corners, going to fold them in together and put a little glue at the top of this, not that much glue, and make a square corner. If you can see that with my fingers or not, it's just a square corner, square it up. and hold it for a couple minutes so the glue catches. Let's see, can you see that? It's a square corner. And you're going to do that on each corner. Got it. 
squeeze it there and one more corner to go. Didn't put a little dab of glue down there and I need to do that. This can be used for many things. It can be an ornament to hang on a tree. It can be used as a bow on a package. If you make several in different sizes, you can make a string of garland together. So this is what you end up with. This is side one. And we make another one exactly like this. I'm going to uh, move on to another one that I had started and I needed one more strip of the color, but I want to get this one finished. So this is the same thing. Um, I just need to add the strip in. I thought this stripey paper would make a really pretty one. And I'm getting glue fingers. Okay, we're going to do this edge. This helps you see it a little bit better together. I said it's a great way to use up those little pieces of paper. And you could do this with multicolors. That would be pretty for different seasons. Okay, so when you get done putting your pieces together, you will have two, two of these. What you're going to do is lay one on top of the other, kitty corner wise. So see what I did. Here's this one. Turn the other one back to back and make sure that You've got one in every kind of twisty. So you should have one straight piece left for each curly cue. You can do it back to back or you can do it inwards. I think I'm going to do it inwards because it lets, it lets it puff out a little more in the center. So I'm going to take the, the inside to the inside. See how those are sticking up? I'm going to stick it like this and then make sure that it's opposite. So then what you're going to do is with this extra strip that's there, you're going to glue it down, bring it up under, and glue it till it's even there. So just like that. And we go around and we'll do each one on this side. Put a little glue on the inside of that. Bring your extra strip underneath and Glue it down. Gotta love this Tombow. Works quick. And then one more. 
So this side is done. You can see that there, but we've got all of the papers on this side are tucked in. So each, whoops, this one came loose. Okay, then we flip it over and we do the same thing. We take the extra paper, tuck it up underneath inside, and we'll glue it down. So it looks like that. We do that on all four corners. Bring it up underneath, tuck it in. and tuck it in. So that by the time you're done, you have this lovely folded paper ornament. You can hang it up. I'll just use this ribbon that I've got here. You can use it as an ornament on a tree. You can add other ones to it and make a string. I don't have a long enough string, but you know, hang it, hang it like garland if you want to. Here's one that I did of, uh, this was uh, my first one, it was nine inches, and it was huge, very large. But that would look pretty if you're doing garland and want to hang several sizes. The other thing that I found that I like to do is, um, You can press it down in the middle, and if it doesn't all unglue, like this one just did, you can poke a hole in the center. And pop a um, some kind of a decor in the center piece. I have some leftover pieces from Stampin' Up! of the different brads. So I'm just going to take one and pop it in the center. But you can use any brad. There's new brads out. And then you have, it's a little, it's a little less puffy but I hang it up on my tree as an ornament. Isn't that pretty? So have fun. These are easy to make. Like I said, six strips, 12 strips all together, 12 half inch strips, six inches long for this size. You can do any size you want. You can even do it thinner, fatter, whatever, whatever works. You weave it and then you, you glue the corners together and make two of them and then flip it over and do the opposite sides and glue them together and you have a beautiful look made to look difficult ornament that's not so difficult but a great way to use up your scraps of strips and uh, pretty quickly toss together so enjoy have a great Christmas